Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. This one is going to be a bit of a different video. It's going to be a drama free video. This video is just going to be me showing my personal favourites from my whole entire Jeffree Star collection. Now I've got quite a lot of Jeffree Star makeup in here. So what I thought I'd do is a bit of an update on a video I did a long time ago on my channel. Um, I showed basically my whole collection before but this video I'm just going to show you my personal favourites because since I did that last video I've added a lot, a lot more has come out, been a lot of new releases so let's get into the video. I'm also going to say I'm you know not affiliated with the brand in any way, I'm not on any PR list, I don't want to be on any PR list either. I buy the makeup with my own money because I really like the brand. You know, I get it. Some people might not want to support Jeffree Star or Jeffree Star Cosmetics right now. But for me, I love the brand. I'm a Jeffree Star fan. So I'll continue to buy the brand for as long as it's going. You know, I get it. Some people don't want to support it, whatever. That's fine. That's your opinion. But as I said, for me, this is just going to be me showing you my personal favourites and what I really recommend from the brand. So I'm going to start with face products. Now, I love the Magic Star concealers and colour correctors. I've got one here, which is what, C6. That's a concealer shade. And then I've got a couple of the colour correctors, the peach. I don't know if you can see. Ooh, the peach and the green shade in that one. I love these. You've probably heard me say this before if you've been to my channel before but I like the concealers and colour correctors so much because they don't crease under my eyes whereas I find a lot of other brands they can do. So that's why I'm like a repeat customer with these. And next I am going to move on to the powder. This powder is honestly so good. Like I use this and the concealers every single time I do my makeup because I just find they're so good. Like, I've got other setting powders, like the Maybelline one. This one's really good um, for a drugstore brand, but this one is actually pigmented. It's the shade Fair, and I find this is just really, really nice. It smells good, and I did also get the Natural from the Orgy collection. That's the Luminous one, and to be honest, I like it, but not all over my face. This one, I just put it you know just in select areas like under my eyes or something but I've got combination skin so I tend to use this one every single time I do my makeup you know for the t-zone and stuff this is lovely this really really and the concealers just really save my makeup okay so we're going to move on to highlighters now first I'm going to start with the skin frosts so the shades that I use all the time in it, the ones that I really like are Princess Cut, which is this sort of baby pink one. And I use Peach Goddess, which is like a little peachy gold shade. Really pretty. And also the one that I'm wearing today here is Nefri. You can see it's really quite blinding. That is that one, the sort of pinky lilac one. And as well as those, you've got the Supreme Frosts. Now, I love this one, which is Frozen Peach. I use this a lot. You can see I've rubbed the logo off on that one. And the other one that I really love is the Hypothermia shade. This one's like a beautiful purple-blue reflect in it. It's gorgeous. And the highlighter palettes. Now, I've got two of them. I've got the Platinum Ice one. But my favourite one, my personal favourite, the one that I reach for is this one, the Brain Freeze one. And I love this because I love like the coral shade in it down here. This um, cold shoulder shade, oh sorry, it's like a white with a blue reflect in it, gorgeous. And then you've got this kind of peachy shade up here. Oh, it's not really pulling peach because of the light, I'm sorry my light's so bad in here. And you've got like the orangey gold shades. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous palette. Gold Breaker as well. This one with the multicolours on it. There you go. You can see it better now. But that's the highlighter palette that I love from the brand. That one came with the Jawbreaker collection. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the lip products. Now, in the lip products, I love the lip scrubs. My two favourites are this one, which is from the Jawbreaker collection. It is the Lemon Sucker one. 
there we go and also the one from the Shane Dawson collection which is the diet root beer one both of those are lovely flavors that's my taste I mean with things like lip scrubs I guess it's going to be like personal taste what sort of flavors you like but out of the ones I've tried those are the two that I love so I'm going to move on to the Velour liquid lipsticks now god I am a lipstick fiend I have 61 of Jeffree Star's lipsticks I counted the other day and yeah nobody needs that many lipsticks why do I have that many lipsticks I don't know I'm a little bit insane I think but yeah I have 61 lipsticks in that bag over there so what I've done I've pulled out my favorites and swatched them for you so I'll put the pictures of the swatches in here I will show you my favorites in like the nudes and red range first so we have got the baby daddy lipstick that one was from family collection I just like it because it's a really nice sort of tan with almost a yellowish tint but it's a cool tone like nude so I love that one my other favorite nude is mannequin which is that one and celebrity skin Ooh. and then also in the red I love this one which is designer blood that is my favorite red to wear honestly like I hope they don't stop making that one because I love that one and on the sort of darker side again I love dominatrix a real chocolate brown but I like it because it's a real sexy color and then you have also got the I was gonna say weirdo then but this is drug lord the drug lord white now this I use it more on my eyes than anything but I do use it sometimes in the center of like other color lipsticks this is like a drag queen and drag king staple I've seen loads of people using this for like eye makeup and stuff like that because it's so white so the next one is one of my absolute favorites ever the black weirdo every goth needs that okay next little group I'm gonna go with the pinks and purples that I love one of my favorites is Queen Supreme now it's like a lilac -y baby pink gorgeous and also for a hot pink I love the yes ma'am lipstick this one was in the jawbreaker collection and I love for purple and lilac the one that I'm wearing today is blow pony this mm, I love her I just love that color I don't know why I think it's because like it's quite hard to find that particular sort of lilac color in a lot of brands you know not many brands do that and then of course the I'm royalty purple is another one of my faves blues and greens I love blue or green lips so I'm that kind of weirdo that buys all the weird colors so let's get into this little lot I love the no offense one now this is like a sort of yellowy green again came with the jawbreaker collection I've got the diamond lipstick here this is a blue but it also pulls a bit lilac on me so similar to this blow pony one it's one that I like to use a lot and then you've got Medusa which was from a holiday collection that one's like a dark sort of navy gray blue but it's a color that I wear a lot and especially in like winter months it's a color I love and breakfast at Tiffany's this beautiful tealy bluey green Mwah, gorgeous next one is from the thirsty collection that is the Huntington Beach one it is a real sort of teal color beautiful now I did get into the Shane Dawson collection as well so I'm going to show you my favorite lips from that collection my favorites are the oh my god pink this real like pale piggy pink love her I've got Ryland which is the shell color sort of like a peachy pinky shell love that one and Shane of course this is so unusual but if you do like a goth look it looks really really cool just like a sort of chromey gunmetal color almost and my favorite pink from that collection was the Jeffrey what the fuck I'm gonna move on to the gloss now there's quite a few shades in the gloss again I have got probably about 20 or so but I'm gonna just show you my favorites that I've picked out some from the orgy collection some from the cremated collection so these ones from the cremated collection I love this one which is called funeral parlor this one's sort of a bit like a bluey I'd say 
gunmetal grey kind of colour gorgeous and then you've got coroner's kiss this one i find it's really wearable on its own i get that people might be put off by like the sort of gray silver look of it in the tube but when you actually put it on your lips it's very wearable it's almost got like a tiny hint of green in it but not like so you'd notice and then the black one this one is six feet under this is black gloss with glitter in it and of course me being a goth at heart i had to have that one and then from the bloodlust collection lord star this one is gorgeous it's a lot similar to the spank me gloss which is a pink with glitter another one of my faves but this one's just because it's purple it's a bit stronger if that makes sense probably not and then from the first release of gloss i really loved this one you can see these ones don't have the gloss written on them like the later ones do but this one is a shade called sky high and it's got like green reflex in it i don't know if you'll be able to see and then from the orgy collection i have got three shades that i really love this one is silk rope and that's just like a sort of mushroom nudie color then you've got this one which is beaded glass this is a gorgeous multi-dimensional shade really really pretty you've got like different colors of glitter in there that really catch the light and this one is i think my favorite from the orgy collection this one's called tabletop it's got like very fine gold bronzy glitter in it but it's like a lovely hot chocolate shade the lip liners now they changed the formula of the lip liners since they first brought them out and i have to say i do really think they've really improved them at first when they very first came out they got a little bit of flat because they were a little bit crumbly but honestly now that they've improved them they're so creamy they're gorgeous so i'm going to show you my favorite shades of course the black one weirdo we've got dominatrix we've got unicorn blob which is the dark red shade we have got the crocodile tears one now that's like a beautiful forest green you've got the breakfast at tiffany's one which is that sort of beautiful bluey tealy color and then you've got this one which is prom night the original sort of pink hot pink shade so i'm going to go on to the eyeshadow palettes now I love the Jeffree Star eyeshadow formula. For me, it lasts all day. It's pigmented as fuck. So the first palette I ever bought from the brand was the Blood Sugar palette. Now, I still love this palette. I've used it quite a lot. There we go. I love the pink shade. I love the metallic shades in there, like the Sweetener and the Candy Floss shade. It's just a really nice, gorgeous palette because you can do like your everyday looks with it or you can do something bold. You know, you can make quite a sexy red look with it. I love it. And the next one in my favourites list is the Alien palette. This one I love because it's cool toned. It's got like a really unusual colour story. Like it's not something that you see everywhere from every brand, I feel. So that was what made me pick this up and i'm glad i did because you can't buy that one anymore and jawbreaker of course this rainbow palette i love because it's different to like a lot of other rainbow palettes you've got like pastel shades in there and then you've got like the really dark navy shade down the bottom there it's just a palette that i you know continually pull out and use and also the mini that went with that one is another one I like because you've got some quite unusual shades in there, some interesting shades like this one down here, the, where was it, the, that one, oral, because that's purple but it's got like a nice blue reflect to it as well. So when you use those two together, I just love, you can make like so many different looks. And then moving on to the conspiracy collection now this is something that i use on my cheeks i use it on my face for like contour and stuff so you've got shades like tanacon in there that i use for contour you've got the pigment shade which i use for blush on my cheeks and i just think it's a really nice palette still I know I get it people might not want to support Shane Dawson right now and all that drama but this video is really just about the makeup because I love it 
So I also have both of the mini controversy palettes. My favourite is this one because it has the green put it back shading. I love this purple. I love the blues. Whoop. Now, another one that I adore is the Bloodlust palette. I'm wearing that one today. That's what I've got on all over my eyes today is Bloodlust palette. It's a palette that I just continually like reach for. It's one that I always pull out to do looks. There we go. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites in my collection. I have every palette that the brand have released. So I've whittled it down to this lot. I say whittled it down. There's what, one, two, three, four, five Jeffree Star palettes left on my shelf. This one is the Cremated palette, another one of my favorites. This one I love because it is my gothic sort of teenage fantasy. 16 year old emo kid me in a palette, essentially. 16 year old me going down the goth club, getting wrecked. Yeah, beautiful. I can't wait to do some more like Halloween looks with this one. That is my favorites from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. That's all the things that I really recommend, the things that I love and use a lot of the time. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.